Welcome back to Anderton's TV.、Um, <laughs> Today we are talking about pedals with valves in, so it's going to be a good video.、Um, this is a Canadian company Canadian. from Montreal. Yes, owned by Ryan Reynolds, probably, or at least if it isn't, it's soon. Everything is owned by、um, him. I love, I love Montreal. Beautiful place. I love Ryan Reynolds. Beautiful、yeah. man.、Um, these are. <laughs> <laughs> these are. <laughs> <laughs> These are preamp pedals、uh, designed around some of the most famous guitar amp circuits ever,、um, and unlike most pedals, not designed to be plugged into the front of a guitar amplifier. So we've got two rigs today using our trusty Lella little Jewel. Lella. If the green light is on, it is going into the effects return of our Victory Deputy、mm -hmm. into a normal one twelve、uh, cabinet.、Mm -hmm. No speaker emulation or anything like that. Just normal. Uh, if it's the、For、some people, yes. If the red light is on, it is going into the Ox Stomp with a 212 cabinet、uh, emulated straight into our interface, and that's essentially、uh, how you should use any of these. So the single pedal ones, we've got a light keeper and an eggnog. I'll get onto those in a minute. I think the、eggnog. light keeper is the baby brother of the B keeper. They're both sort of dumbly. Eggnog is your little tweed Fender.、Um, Amplifier, magnesium is kind of an interesting one. Says it combines some Fender and some Marshall tones. Does that come with a helmet? Absolutely. You know, like the, the magneto, magneto. magneto. and the Sun Keeper. A much to Oz's disappointment, is not a Sun amplifier. It's、oh. an it's an orange, which kind of made him slightly happy again. Hey, before we go ahead, please like and subscribe. You win something every ten thousand subscribers. If you want to see one of these videos, use the timestamps. Absolutely. And、uh, just love us a long time. Please. Thank you very much. Right away.、Um, Blah blah. I'll get this out of the way first and foremost to keep you interested, right? These are all substantially more affordable than I thought. Handmade in Canada、uh, with valves. I was thinking, you know, five hundred pound plus. Yeah, that's yeah.、Uh, these are all around about the three hundred pounds. So really, bit, bit of change if you buy a, a, a single sort of size enclosure. It's probably a thousand Canadian dollars,、over. isn't it? <laughs> I don't, it probably yeah, is. I don't know what you, how many Canadian dollars you get for. I a, think a it's much more, much more expensive、pound. over there. I、Fine. saw somebody going through like a supermarket, and it was expensive. Anyway, so sorry for interrupting.、Uh, <laughs> this particular pedal here, two twelve X sevens, runs off a twelve volt、uh, DC power supply. They actually all need a twelve volt supply, and then the bigger ones need five hundred milliamps, and the smaller ones need three fifty. That is a bit of a challenge for people using multi power supplies. Some of them, the Fender does. The two bigger Fender ones yeah, has got eight, need the, eight, yeah, twelve and eighteen volts. You do need the sort of the bigger power supplies, right? So、uh, on and off with the bypass control,、uh, blue and red channels. Blue channel、uh, is using all the EQ, the master, the clean volume, and the two, the boost and mid switches. And then if we go to the red channel,、uh -huh. all of those things that I just mentioned, plus the additional OD、uh, circuit. So again, the, this is a, one of those cascading circuits where the clean channel cascades into the overdrive channel, even when you're. That's naughty. Say that again. Cascade. Cascade.、Uh, I don't think there's any other <coughs> switches on here, so let's have a little listen to what it sounds like clean. Have you watched the new Beekeeper film, by the way? Oh, Jason Statham. You know, we talked talk about Jason Statham.、Yeah. Always the same in every film. This one, he's a beekeeper,、that、and then he starts, starts kicking.、Yeah. Somebody、Brilliant. gets killed, and it's the、uh, same every time. Reverb, by the way,、uh, is the reverb in the Deputy. Most、uh -huh. guitar amplifiers, when you come in on the effects return, the reverb is still、mm -hmm. after that, so you、yeah. get the reverb from the amp.、Uh, when we go over to the aux, the reverb is from the aux. Turn it off first,、yeah. so we can hear what it sounds like、Great、without、shot. this on. I'm going for the tone, but I'm not. Oh, by the way, I'm playing one of these、uh, amazing Hanson、uh, um, J style. J style, Jay Z style. Yeah. So、uh, from、uh, Danish Pete's homeland of Holland. <laughs>、um, let's、uh, Dutchland.
It's super pleasant. Yeah, very, very pleasant tube. I'm going to... Are you feeling a tubeness yet or not really? I mean, we're obviously going into um, a tube power amplifier. Yeah, well, that makes we? the whole... I mean, of course, I'm playing it into... It's coming out behind me in the cabinet, so there is that feel, mm. you know, that sort of... It just feels like an amp. We put this That's overdrive pedal, by the way. This is the new Silk Tone Overdrive Plus. We've just put that in the circuit so you can see how does it take pedals. It's a nice sag to yeah. it. There's a nice sag to feel. It's very pleasant. Cool. It's very, very pleasant uh, to play. I'm sure many of you are going, you know, how do you run tubes at the correct voltage if you're only using a 12 volt power supply? And it's like, you know what? I'm going to direct you over to the uh, <laughs> Tube Stedder website, which again, you can find links for below this because there is a technical way you can do that. I just can't Yeah, they double, it. double the circuits of the power like inside that. it. Um, should we hear it through the, the stomp? The yes. Old stomp? Okay, so now you're hearing just a DI'd sound with a 212 emulation on here. Pleasant again, I mean, you know. We are hearing it through some Genelec speakers, so it is different. And I think if you're on. if you're using this in a little home studio or mm. to, to record with, you, mm. you might even have some speaker emulation in your DAW. Um, your and if you're going out live, perhaps you want this at the end of your pedal board uh, for just a slightly more conventional amp tone, and then you would just have a small something like an yep. stomp or a TC impulse or one of those many uh, different sort of you know IR style uh, emulation boxes. So that's your overdrive now. I can I can obviously gun it a bit more. Gun it. It's funny how how much difference there is sitting in a room with speakers to something like an ox or something and just a cabinet behind you. Yeah. Man! Yeah. I kind of feel like But it's just so like bad. It's just so different when you click from one yeah, thing to the other, I right? kind of feel like we're, we're sort of... Um, it feels like you, you can have more gain from the pedal through that and because it sounds the power okay. Amp. Yeah, whereas, the power amp is Whereas, yeah, yeah. Through, uh, through smaller speakers and the ox stomp. And I, again, to be fair, I'm sure we've obviously got lots of stuff we can tweak. We're just going to stick with the same 2x12 for every yeah. pedal. You know, it feels like this needs maybe backing down and some of the treble taking out, but... This That's isn't good, trying to be like a Marshall JCM no. 800 vibe. It's it's a different kind of vibe to that, isn't it? I mean, that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. 
mean, if you turn the ox, if you tune the ox off, oh, no, I'm not doing that. What about just a tiny bit? Jason Statham! Jason Statham! That right, sounds cool, man. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Light Keeper, which I guess is like the baby brother of the Bee Keeper in that it's staying in that sort of Dumble territory. Um, also, the next got... film with uh, Jason Statham is coming out. I don't suppose it's where he uh, goes around killing everybody, but actually he's a lighthouse keeper instead of a beekeeper. Yeah, is he? yeah and, and somebody so, yeah. accidentally kills his dog, <laughs> and then he goes around and kills everybody. Wow. He's still the greatest British, uh, you Who, know, sort of... Who's just the same every single time. But why change when you're the best anyway? Did you see he was uh, He was in... Uh, didn't he do the Olympics something in 1990 or something? He was, yes, uh, he, he was, was a diver. A, he was a diver, Absolutely. Yeah. He, he was a, a yeah, ab- diver. Well... <laughs> There'll be no one left on Earth for him to kill, so he goes to kill the sun. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. is yeah. Are you um, all right, mate? <laughs> so we have Gosh. got here again this, this obviously less um, less knobs on here. There's not uh-huh. two channels anymore. There's just on and off uh, and a single channel. This deep boost control switch is kind of interesting. So you've got these two uh, three position switches for deep and boost here. If you leave them in the middle, uh-huh. this... Sw- effectively switches them on or off, or you can elect to just have them permanently in certain positions and then this switch doesn't Ooh. do anything. Uh, so let's have a little listen yeah. what tones we can get out of this. In the real amp, by the way. We're back, back in the There's that tube compression, isn't there, from the front end? What is that now? Just that now? different positions of the deep. Wasn't he in that film as well? He was in the deep, wasn't he? No, he was in the. Oh, was uh, he in the Meg? I mean, he was the... in the Meg and the Meg Two, yes. where he killed a Megatron <laughs> shot. shot. Megalodon. Just the Megalodon. Megatron. <laughs> Jason Statham versus Megatron. There's no, there's, it's no contest. No. Jason Statham kicking Megatron's ass. He'll kick everybody's ass. All the way back to his own planet. Yeah. I hate the <laughs> Station Statham. I don't know why that ended up like a Station I don't Statham. Know. Sounds nice, that. I, like I do that. like it. Very simple, isn't it? This is this Here's is definitely a. Um, this is just a preamp platform, isn't it? Or yeah. a pedal platform. It, it itself is just a very clean sounding. I mean, well, hang on. Let's just see. If I boost and gain, can I get much out of it? Oh, level. It's almost like a tube screen wow. with it. It was like a Vox type. Yeah, so it's like a, it's like a, I suppose, a, a high headroom clean amplifier yeah. that if you really crank, you can get a bit of dirt. With a pedal like this, a pedal like I'm not that. sure I would find much of a use for it like this because most amplifiers, if you just plug in the front end, are going to sound yeah. like that 
anyway, yeah. aren't they? But I could see if you're going into a DAW and you just wanted a really nice, tubey feeling, yeah. clean. Or if you have Guitar something, amp, if you have some of those power amps, what is that? Uh, like the, the Pedal Sima Baby Duncan or Sima Duncan yeah. in front of it, that would be yeah. great. Yeah. Fits on your um, pedal board. Okay, a little <coughs> listen uh, through to DI. Definitely need some level on that. Or maybe on here, I don't know. I'm, I haven't turned it on, Pete, that's yeah, why. Yeah, I'm turning it on, I remember the first time. Take like the difference, man. That's guitar straight into a speaker emulator. Yeah. Feels nice as well. But it has that warm I think, element yeah. within, you know, don't hate me because I don't hate digital, but what you need really is something like this that just warms it all up, you know, and gives that the real element in it. It's a nice clean sound. It's I a agree. lovely clean sound. I prefer that into that I than too. this than into that. But yeah. that's just I mean Sounds great to me. I mean, yep. what's quite nice about yep. this demo is there's not a massive amount to tell you on each of these pedals. I'm just going to wang through them. Wang? Right, the eggnog. Was that a Jason Statham film? <sighs> yeah, it was Mate, a Christmas, it was a Christmas film, film, wasn't it? That he just <laughs> did. He, he killed a bad Santa Claus. Christmas, yeah. he, he haunted Father Christmas down because he gave him coal in his sock. Back to our uh, amp over there. Eggnog mm. is designed to sound like uh, an early uh, Fender Tweed kind of uh, guitar mm. advice. I'm guessing we're talking you know, probably angry, driven, small, boxy kind of tones, but maybe not. Uh, Mr. Bonamassa's name gets a shout out at the end, here, as does Mr. Keith Richards and indeed Joe Walsh. So there we are. Okay. Lifeless, dull. Yeah, like my life. <laughs> Got a switch at the back here, normal and bright, so I better work out which position sounds best. That's, I think that's bright. maybe bright in the room, but maybe with the microphones, maybe. Right. Great. A boost that we can apply with its own level. It's much fatter than I thought. I thought we were going to hear like a Fender Champ and it'd be like, yeah, yeah. angry. Yeah. Is it a Fender Twin? Uh, it's maybe you know, it's the old bass money or two twelve. Yeah, could be twin two. What is that one called? Do you know the old twin with two twelve and uh, Bandmaster uh, or something? No, no it was I a can't twin. Remember. I'm sure it was a twin. Didn't Bonamassa do his twin? Yep. With the uh, yep. Yes, yep, he yep, did. Yep, he did. Yeah, but exclusively through him. Oh, but to be honest That's with you, between these two pedals here, you've got really nice crystal clean and this really nice edge of breakup kind of sound here. Absolutely. I like those two. I like a lot. A lot. Uh, let's uh, ox the stomp it. Stomp it. Yeah, 
Yeah, so then you need off. to brighten it off. Definitely breaks up more, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I would probably suggest to find a cabinet that fits with that going through Maybe, the app. Yeah. yeah. That's my favourite so far. This one. Or this one. Yeah. It's really ox. Yeah. It's definitely got more of that Ross, raspy. Yeah. Definitely got more of that sort of old raspy farty sort of farty. type sound, isn't it? Um, okay, uh, enough eggnog. Or... Yeah. <laughs> enough nog. <laughs> okay, right. This is the magnesium. I, I, my gut feeling tells me this is probably the most usable and conventional in a two-channel sense. Okay. Uh, it says it's uh, inspired by the highly coveted Magna Super Fifty Nine amp. That's Magnatone, right? Isn't it Super Fifty Nine? Um, it's, Goldfish. It talks about having a Fender side and a Marshall side. So the blue side is the bottom row of knobs and it's a little cleaner. The, the red knobs. side is the top row of knobs and is a little drivier. It's not crazy drivey though. I, th I think again, these are all probably designed to have drive pedals into them to get extra drive. So here's our blue side. Definitely different. Yeah, definitely it's different. It's clean with just a hair, isn't it? Ooh, Ooh. naughty. I am. I'm on a bridge pickup here as well. Wow, it's a lot darker then, isn't it? Let's a lot try darker. some treble. Yeah, go it. Sound. It's a different sound, it's a good but sound. I like it. It's like, like it. hot and chunky. Let me oh, try it with a conventional OD. Okay. I feel like I need some low, uh, some mid or some tone more top end or. More. Same kind of thing. I do. I do agree. Through the cab, it needed a lot of extra treble. It, did. it probably. I guess this is the problem with trying to voice a pedal like this because through a pair of um, studio monitors, yeah. it's naturally not going to need that much of a treble boost. Nope. And through a conventional, it will. So I guess. And you, it's in the corner and yeah. Low so you've got to tune to cab. taste depending on what you're doing. Like this is my favourite sounding one so far. Really? Yeah. So bay. I 
just like it because it's conventional. It's like, it's what you want. It's like a clean tone or... <laughs> It's also an odd one. I think it's the only one so far that I thought it actually sounds better through the ox stomp than it does I through, do the, through the I combo. do too. I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree. But that's, you know, I like it. And it's nice that it's got, you know, can roll it off. But that's the sound, isn't it? Magnesium woman. Magnesium <laughs> woman. Um, all right, well, look, we've got one more to go. Take it's it called the Sun Keeper, and we'll plug it in right now. Okay, last one. Um, yes, indeed, this is our no preamp engaged sound. I can't so, believe how boring that is. I know. That's right. like my life. It sounds like my life. <laughs> Blue mode is these controls, so the clean, treble, and bass. Red mode are the five controls along here, so it's the overdrive channel. So we'll start with blue mode. Funny, it's got that can thing again, doesn't it? So what is this supposed so, to be? Or, orange. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, so doesn't we can sound either, like an orange to me. Well, we can either stay crystal clean. Don't, we, don't forget, we're not on the drive channel yet. So clean, or like a pushed clean. It does go trouble. a bit mid-rangey. Yeah, I agree. So again, it's the same that side and then that side, right? Th this is blue, this is red. What's the overall volume on it then? There is only that. So there's no... Well, it's on, on your own. You've got master volume. Oh, there's no master volume on it. No. Uh -huh. And then red channel. <laughs> That's a good riff. That's a good. It was a, if That's you can play that, clever riff. If you can play that. Great, it's got, super compressed. Yeah, that's, that uh, I really like. I, I, <laughs> I know we didn't do it with any of these pedals, but I, I sort of half of me wonders whether these would be because they're not crazy expensive. No. But if you've got a Boss Katana which is a perfectly good solid state power amp into yeah. a perfectly good yeah. preamp, but yeah. you know, but you anything just want like a valve front end. You've got a power amp input that you could use on those for, for this But anything sort of thing. like that, a catalyst, anything like that that's not really well, analog, yeah, yeah. it just needs an effects loop, right? Uh, oh, well, I think the Katana has got a dedicated oh, got, uh, uh, power amp in, hasn't it, sort of thing. So, um, again, um, I do like that overdriven sound. Let's hear it. Through, let's hear it <coughs> through the ox. Beep, beep, beep. Da, <laughs> da, Before we do that, would you be able to hook them all up next to each other and, that, and then I just could. have one on all the time? Could you have two preamps on at the same time? Is that a thing? Yes, do people have two preamps on at the same time? Mm, well, maybe. I don't know, four cable method they kind of do, don't they? You could absolutely do four cable method with these and wire it so that you're switching between this preamp and the preamp in your amplifier. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking serial them in and into the... Yeah, we well, could do that too. Eight preamp tubes. Yeah, let's not do that though. Um, okay, Ox. Oh, that sounds great, Ox. I prefer that too there as well, yeah. you know? Oh, that blues laser. 
that he's playing. That's a bit spiky, but. <laughs> I like. I, I do think you're. I do think I can hear the compression. Yeah. Of, of the tube. Of the tube. Oh, you're right. <laughs> and then red oh, mode. Just roll, rolling his head like that. Just play some. I think I prefer the clean side into that and the overdrive side into that of it, but I don't know, man. Mind the overdrive, I mean. That sounds great. Single note or just power chords. <laughs> Pedal off, man. Listen. See, it, it's much better on that, isn't it? Well, it's it's because what I'm doing is I I, I don't know that necessarily twelve o'clock on the treble is really working on any of this. You either need more treble into the yeah, combo no, no, or no, less no, treble yeah. into the um, di. I think it's, it's definitely picking out all those kind of harmonic characteristics yeah. of a sludgy kind of tube amplifier. Yeah. Just it's careful what you're saying. Straight now. into the straight into a DI. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? You get slain. But if you have got, uh, will this work with? You know, let's say you've got a uh, one of these um, Veilton little bores, mm -hmm. and it's got an effects loop. Could you use that in there? I think you could. You, I mean, you could switch out any uh, preamp. Just to get the warmth from it. I mean, this is interesting. Let's say you buy the 199 yeah. little bales of one. It's got an effects loop in it or whatever, yeah. and you stick one of these into it to get that warmth yeah. of the of the tubes it, in it there. Is, you is are, that a thing? You are right. I was kind of. Is it worth doing? Is it worth doing a video on that, trying it out, just to see if it makes a difference? We, maybe we'll revisit one of these. I still kind of feel that DI'd something like the UAD Lions or whatever like yeah. that still sound pretty amazing. I, I I I think with these, given that these are quite affordable, I mean, these are all less than a UAD. A pedal would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do quite like the idea of going, if you've got a solid state amplifier or some sort of amplifier where you're just not happy with the preamp, even a valve amplifier and you just want to change the flavor of the preamp. Yeah. It's cheaper um, to buy these than it is to buy another amp. Yeah, I think I would look to try and incorporate one of these in, into that rig and just go with whatever you think sounds the best. Or again, for just a really yeah, simple that, just have end that. of the chain before you go into your DI. That's so good. That you've one. got. Uh, speaker emulation in Logic, haven't you? Uh, I'm not sure. I think no, I'm sure there must be some third party I'm, I'm sure there is. You can, yeah, so, you, can uh, you know, you almost think, you okay, fine. If, there, yeah. Yeah, if you're just using Logic for recording, mm -hmm. you, you know, you want something simple, you can go right guitar, Bosch, in, use the speaker emulation in Logic. Yeah. And you and get it's a bit of a nice, feel. familiar kind of sound. I think these are pretty it's cool. It's the feel, it's the feel, yeah. man. It was like those Friedman pedals, you know, it's, yeah. got that, it's got that feel, that sort of analog feel in it. So there we are. There we uh, are. And it's got no USB tubes, cables. Tubes, stedder, pedals. No USB, yes, no. absolutely. Please Tube like and subscribe. Wow, just down there. excellent stuff. Yeah. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Au revoir.